Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Well, of course, it is that time of year when we look forward to having some Halloween fun. And we are having some Halloween fun over at the Blake Park Zoo. Arr, it looks like Captain Ryan Bickle is joining us. Arrgh. <laughs> I always wanted to do that. Okay. <laughs> is coming up at Blake Park Zoo. All and, right, there uh, you go, starts, Captain. Tell us yeah. all about Night Eyes, because it starts when? Tomorrow, right? Starts tomorrow, runs Thursday through Sunday this weekend, and Thursday through Sunday next weekend. So uh, you'll have eight chances to come out, enjoy all the fun and candy and lights of Night Eyes at Blake Park Zoo, and help raise some money for the nonprofit zoo foundation here at the zoo all right let's take a look i believe we have some video of night eyes so you can see it this is what you see when you first get to the blank park zoo and and this is for all ages isn't it ryan <laughs> this is a great family event of course there's the treat safari the fun zone you know all the giant pumpkins and lights and of course you got to take a carousel ride or a train ride while you're at the zoo and and then enjoy, you know, the gift shop always has a sale, so you can get some stuff in the gift shop uh, on your way out. All right, so uh, it starts tomorrow. It's the, the first yeah. night of 2022. What nights does it run? It runs Thursday through Sunday, this weekend and next. And I got to mention, uh, hy is our presenting sponsor this year. We got to thank hy -Vee for helping us out uh, to promote the event. All right, that is awesome. And if people want to get more information uh, or tickets to go to Night Eyes, uh, because what time does it start? Yeah, it starts at 5 and goes to 9 every night. Uh, 8.30 is the last admission every night. All right, that is awesome. Now, this week is going to be a great weekend, especially with the 70s that we're expecting here in a couple of days. So you're going to be able to go out and be able to see the costumes, uh, you can get uh, your little ones dressed up, and have a great time. But also something else we want to make sure that we mention, at, uh, this might be the last time you have a chance to see a special resident of the Blank Park Zoo because, uh, as they say, move it on up. Tell us what's going on. Yeah, so Raza the Giraffe, if you remember, he was born in January 2021, and, uh, you know, he's almost two years old, and that's about the time they, they leave and go off to college. Wait, they're not going to college. He's going to a <laughs> zoo out west, and, uh, and, and uh, yeah, he's going to an accredited zoo out west, and they're building a brand-new exhibit for giraffe out there, so he'll have a great life, and they will take great care of him. But if you want to come and say goodbye to Raza, you know, this weekend is going to be perfect weather. It'll be warm enough. They'll be back outside, or you can visit them indoors if they happen to be indoors. And you can see Raza, and of course, you can see Bakari, the baby giraffe as well. All right. So uh, now, uh, what you say, about a year and a half old, a little more than a year and a half old. Uh, is this about the normal time that giraffes uh, are separated from their mothers? Yeah, so this is exactly the right time for him to... Uh, leave mom and go off on his own. That's uh, typically the time when males leave, about 15 to 18 months. And so we're, we're right at a perfect time for him to, to go. And of course, uh, perfect season as well, because it's not too hot and it's not uh, too cold to transport a giraffe. It's really interesting how they do it because you think giraffe, um, if they get too tall, you know, they won't fit underneath the bridges. And so they have special trailers that they can lower down to get underneath the bridges if there's a uh, a low underpass they have to go through. Okay, so, but still, it's an extended trailer, so the draft doesn't have to lay down or anything, right? They can stand up, right? Yeah, they stand up, but uh, if they have, they uh, are near an, uh, a bridge or something that's a, a low underpass, they can lower that roof down and wow. get, get under it just, just right. That yeah. is really neat. Now, how long do we have before Raza goes? When, when is Raza leaving? Yeah, Raza is leaving uh, uh, Wednesday, so Tuesday will be his last day here that the, our guests will be able to see him. Okay, so folks, a couple of different reasons to head on out to the Blank Park Zoo. Of course, Night Eyes with the kids starts tomorrow, Thursday through Sunday, this week and next week. But this week, go out to the Blank Park Zoo this weekend and say goodbye to Raza, born here and going on to propagate, which is the whole idea, isn't it, isn't it Ryan? Yeah, I mean, all these decisions are made by what they call a species survival plan. 
which help just ensure that there's a, a su sustainable and healthy population. That is awesome. Round of applause for the Blank Park yeah. Zoo. Get more information, blankparkzoo.com. Ryan, thank you so much, and we'll see you tomorrow on Iowa Live.